Okay, we're going to go over a simple process of how to make your plates using uh, Printex UVAC 600. And on the table here I have a G273 plate. It's 3x7. I have a film. Um, and what you want to do when you make your film, when you lay it out and print it, you're going to have a, a dot pattern around it. So you want to cut as close to the dot pattern as you can. So you can use that as a reference when you lay it out. And on this film also there's some, looks like, you can see the scotch tape. What we did was we punched holes in there just so that when you lay your plate down, it doesn't move once it's stuck to the plate. So basically, you're going to pull the top layer of film off. You're going to put your film on, right reading. You're going to use one corner, one corner, you're going to push these down so that the film won't move now. So when you put it on the exposure unit, it stays in the same spot. So we're going to bring it over to the UVAC 600. We're going to lift it up. You're going to pull your blanket back. Make sure when you pull your blanket back, you don't crease it in any way. You want to keep it nice and smooth. So you're going to pull that back. You're going to smooth it out a little bit. You're going to set your film time. To 60, 60 seconds, you're going to start the vacuum. You're going to smooth out the blanket and make sure that you're pulling on your vacuum, it's between 15 and 20. Make sure it holds, it's not fluctuating. If it's fluctuating somewhere, that means there's air leaking. Right now, we're good. So we're going to close the lid, we're going to start the exposure. So we're going to wait 60 seconds. When it's done, it'll beep to let you know that it's time to put on the, the line screen. Okay, this is your first exposure. Now that it's done, we're going to lift up the door, roll the blanket back, pull the film off, and put your line screen on there. This is a 280%, so we're going to move that in, pull the, the blanket back, we're going to set this to the screen time. The screen time is 40 seconds. We're going to start the vacuum, smooth it out just like we did before. Our vacuum is good. I'm going to close the door, start this exposure. Okay, now that our second exposure is done, we're going to lift it up, take this, set it aside, make sure your blanket's nice and flat, close the lid, we're going to go to the, to the wash tank. So, we're going to wash this for one minute. The first 45 seconds, you're going to agitate it. The last 15 seconds you're going to brush it. So, and this is what you're going to brush it with. This is a D brush, what we call the D brush. So, so I have it in the water and I'm just agitating it, I'm keeping track of my time. Okay, that was 45 seconds. Now we're just going to lightly brush it either in a figure eight motion or a circle motion is fine. Just do this just for 15 seconds and you guys are done. Okay, we're done with that. Now you're going to blow it off with some air. Not a lot of air pressure, just a little enough just to get the water off. When you're done, you should have an image that looks like this. And once this is done, you need to put it in the oven for 10 minutes at 150 degrees. So we're going to bring it over here. 
and it doesn't have to be a really big oven. These types of oven you can find on the internet, they're basically what they are, they're just dehydrator ovens. They'll go to 150 degrees and they won't go above that. So you can leave it in there for 10 minutes, pull it out. Once that's done, we're going to put it back into the uh, UVAC for 600 seconds. Okay, now that we've finished the 10 minutes, we're going to take our plate out. Let it cool off a little bit. We're going to bring it back over to the UVAC 600. And basically you're just going to set this on top of the blanket. Okay? So you need to start, you need to set it to pulse cure, which is 600 seconds, which is 10 minutes. You're going to close it, start the vacuum, and hit start cure. You don't have to worry about your vacuum here because it's on top of the blanket now. So this is just the final cure to super harden it. So it, when you put your cup on there, it won't stick. It glides nice and easy. Okay, now that it's done, you just want to lift it up. The machine goes off by itself, and that's your finished product. It's ready to go on the machine.